Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shorup Sir's classes and today we are looking at the ISI MSQE 2023 paper PA part question number 2. You are given the following partial information about the purchase of a consumer who consumes only two goods, good 1 and good 2. So these are the data that we are given. Suppose that the amount of good 2 consumed in year 2 is denoted by X. Think about the range of X over which you would conclude that the consumer's consumption bundle in year 1 is revealed preferred to that in year 2. Also think about a range of X over which you would conclude that the consumer's consumption bundle in year 2 is revealed preferred to that in year 1. Which of the following ranges of X ensures that the consumer's behavior is inconsistent? Okay, so let us tabulate the data first. So, first of all, we have year 1. In year 1, the price of good 1 is 100. Price of good 2 is also 100. Quantity consumed for good 1, Q1 is 100. Q2 is also 100. When it comes to year 2, P1 is 100, P2 is 80, Q1 is 120, Q2 is X. Okay, now let's consider first year, year 1. In year 1, the price of good 1 is 100 and price of good 2 is also 100. The chosen bundle is 100 comma 100. Okay. And what's the other bundle with which we have to compare? We have to compare it with the bundle that has been chosen in year 2, which is 120 comma X. Alright. So we are saying that in year 1, this choice basically violates the weak axiom of revealed preference. That means the choice of 100, 100 in year 1 will basically violate weak axiom of revealed preference. When is it possible? When the expenditure on this bundle 120, X which has not been chosen is actually lesser than the expenditure on the bundle which has been chosen. That means the bundle 120, X was affordable but the consumer chose 100, 100. So, expenditure on 120, X bundle would be prices are 100, 100. So, 120 into 100 plus 100 into X is less than 100 into 100 plus 100 into 100. So, 100 can cancel off from all of them. So, 120 plus X is less than 100 plus 100 to 100. So, this basically gives us X should be less than 80. This is the first part. Now, in the exact similar way, if we come to year 2. Year 2, the prices of the two goods are 120 and P2 is 80. What's the chosen bundle? It is 120 comma X. And we have to compare this bundle with 100 comma 100. So, we are trying to find a range of X such that it violates the weak axiom of revealed preference, right? Now, in the exact similar way that we did for year 1, in this case, the weak axiom of revealed preference would be violated if the expenditure on the bundle 100, 100 is actually lesser than the expenditure on bundle 120, X. But still, the consumer is choosing 120, X. So, in period 2, the prices are 120 and 80. So, if you want to compute the expenditure for the bundle 100, 100, that is 120 into 100 plus 100 into 80. That is lesser than 100 into 120 plus 80 into x. So, that is 80x. Okay, so if we divide throughout by 100, it would be 120 
this will be 100, sorry. So if you divide sort by 100, so that will be 100 plus 80 less than 120 plus 80 by 100x. So 180 minus 120 lesser than 80 by 100x. So 80 by 100x greater than 60. So x is greater than 75. So we want both these situations to hold. Therefore, if we combine both these ranges, we basically get 75 less than x less than 80. Which is basically, if you compare with your options, it is option number A. Thank you.